aya kona ba television okay eti abusia fo komo aye ba be din eh obebusia me questions bi me yina no obetimi de o comment ba ye be kan ye be kan both negative and positive comments ni nyina ye be kan bibia eti wo ho kwan de opese wo otimi a pese o twero twero bra e be ye e be ye ano e o page so now this is not the first time you are interviewing me mm. so so this time around don't hustle yourself too much in the introduction okay. because they already know you yeah, yeah, so yeah. madam why are you here talk to me i i still have some questions to ask you because I, okay. i become more curious every time so i always when i listen to you to you to your craft sometimes mm -hmm. i would just write things down and the first thing i just want to ask is is there any point where you feel like you want to give up in what you do no no i i don't remember giving up or having that mind in, uh, mindset okay. of giving up you understand because this is a, it's a project I've, i i want to do that is um i want to create an empire you know and this empire or this vision that i'm having um it's not a one time thing i know it it would take long for people to catch up I, they are catching up but i still need more hands to come in bombo not hands like as in coming to support blah 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 but people to understand the content i'm talking about okay. you understand if mm -hmm. they understand what you're talking about it's easy for them to share okay you understand yeah so it's a, it's an empire i'm building okay and um as i said the other time that the corner but to the, the world, world. Yeah, yeah. so i'm planning to get studios across you understand every way that okay. i can afford yeah, if yeah. only i have the, the 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 finances to do it i'll do it and then how do you take uh, criticism because I, i i believe that there are times where people will bash on you when they don't agree with stuff that you talk about and then how to how how, how do you move on from that <clears throat> uh, the tennis those uh, in in my language okay mm -hmm. they say the uchasa enims in a church here meaning the one say it again the ochasa yeah enims in a church here meaning the one who is drawing the line doesn't even know at the back of him or her What's the line mean? is either cruel okay. crooked or maybe it's not straight you know mm. so so those at the back will always criticize you it might be wrong it might be good mm -hmm. but depending on how the person put the statement out there yeah yeah whether it's hardcore or softcore just take the good ones out of it and then leave the person don't reply you sounded like you were speaking chinese <laughs> <laughs> yeah i understand with us it's cause us it don't be lisela amans in jena wa kaya cholos okay so so uh, you when you criticize me mm. i just take the video I listen to the video mm. the important part the okay. one you were addressing I'll pick the positive part okay. the negative part is your problem you fix it okay I will never reply on that one mm. you say no 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 but I don't have time to put your picture there reply you play your video oh, reply yeah, yeah. you mm -hmm. you know I don't have time if it's like that it become a beef like a corner by is beefing with this with person, person yeah. with this so, so what other people they they make that isn't it they make it as a trend they 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 do it purpose because of they know that they will have a number of following and they will be trending no it is is it makes the media i mean a little bit entertaining you know yeah, yeah, yeah. but i don't want you to give give i don't want to be part of your entertainment mm. you understand so whatever you are saying whether it's bad or good, good. i'll pick the video learn from what you said yes and then leave the rest for you but for me to reply and then the viewers will be like hey what did this guy say let me listen to this guy <laughs> when, when is a crown about replying i don't have time to reply okay you understand because busy, i'm going straight where i'm going is where i'm going mm. you understand i don't have time to be looking uh, elsewhere because in our proverb it says uh in sua obernomono and chen 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 meaning the water that you want to drink mm. never look left and then right just, just drink the water okay. you understand so i am focused in whatever i'm doing they will criticize it's normal it's part of the game it's part of media you understand they will mm. criticize they talk bad about you they will insult you it's okay no problem just pick the video mm -hmm. learn from the, what the person is saying mm -hmm. and then leave the rest for him to fix it 
Okay, so you mean that even if uh, maybe 20, 20 people won't agree with you, but two of them, they will grasp yeah, the importance of what Sometimes I make, I make videos mm. and then um, let's say two or three people will share this video. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, no problem, it's fine. Mm. You understand? The three that share the video understand or understood what I, I was talking about. Okay. And it's okay. The rest, they will, they will come on board later when they get to understand what I'm talking about. What about? If you were to wake up tomorrow being a president of Ghana, what would you change? Uh, the first thing is I'll close the churches and um, I'll, I'll put a straight law on noise making. Okay? In what? On noise making. <laughs> In taverns or where is this noise coming from? No, there's going to be um, regulation. Let's say I'll, I'll bring a certain uh, law. Okay. Or I'll edit the ones that we have. Okay. The laws that we have okay. concerning religion, whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'll just edit it, mm. you understand, to suit Ghanaians. Because let's say if you are a Muslim and you think you want to call Allah, I don't have problem with you calling Allah, mm. but calling Allah has not. It, it has. It has nothing to do with my sleep. Oh, okay. You understand? Okay. You want to call Allah? It's your problem, but I have to sleep. You so understand? that thing, because I I believe that Muslim what they do in the AMs they they, they have uh, those speakers speakers. And they so will you close that. Wat- <laughs> I want to sleep. You're calling your Allah has nothing to do with me. You understand? <laughs> So, so these are noise <laughs> that we have to minimize. You understand? We are in a dictator world. Yeah. If you want to call your guys to come on board so yeah. you can worship Allah, call them on telephone. <laughs> Create a platform on WhatsApp. Yeah. Send a message on it. They will come and then you do your thing quietly. Mm-hmm. Okay. You understand? They are they are doing Allah work, but uh, because they want the Muslims to come. Oh, okay. I am not a Muslim. I want to sleep. So because of that, there is going to be a law. You understand? Okay. No, don't make noise like those. Those noise those making. Churches where they. Piano. And then <laughs> from from there we will come to the church. You understand? The Muslim can create a group and then they do their thing. Okay. Because calling your Allah has nothing to do with me. Okay. I want to sleep. It's, you call Allah around four thirty a.m. or four a.m. That time I'm dreaming, and in my dream I feel like Allah walk <laughs> by, and then I wake up. I'm not part of this game, you know what I'm saying? So, there's going to be a law mm. on noise making. Okay. Then, the religion <laughs> thing, I'll edit it so that the Muslims will understand me. I'm not saying don't worship Allah, but you calling Allah, has it, it must not distract my sleep. Mm. I have to sleep. I hear you. Then, that is one. Number two, if you are a Christian and um, you think you have Holy Spirit yes. controlling you. Yeah, yeah. You having your Holy Spirit has nothing to do with me. You understand? Okay. You think the Holy Spirit is controlling you. This your Holy Spirit. Yes. Must not disturb me. How is it disturbing you though? Okay. Okay, okay I understand with the Muslim part because I've explained. I'm coming there. I will, I will explain. Okay. Christian getting his Holy Spirit or deliverance. Okay. The out. It's out. It's disturbing. You have to minimize it. So you control that because you getting your deliverance must not disturb me. Mm. The same thing will apply to the clubs, the beer bars, you know. I'm not talking about just about them. You understand? So <laughs> why are you laughing? I'm giving you something very serious and you are laughing. <laughs> you understand? So you being in a church, I don't have problem. Does it? How does it affect you? Though, know, with their speakers, does it? Does the sound reach at your house when they're doing all of those things? Maybe my son might be sleeping, mm. and then immediately he's like, "Out!" You understand? He'll be like, <gasps> "You know?" He's scared. Mm. He's scared mm. because somebody is shouting, "Out! Yeah. Out!" You okay. know. So there's going to be law, and then if you, the person in that community. You think this out? La work bad is disturbing you. You call the police. They will come with the law. And then you fix it. You understand? That's how it's going to be. 
it's not going to be like the army need to go to them to be them no 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 it's it's law you understand <laughs> why <What? laughs> What's wrong thing with you? Thing is, you know, you know why I'm laughing because I I expected that you will start with clubs. No, wait, wait, wait. But you started with Wait, wait. Wait. I didn't start with the clubs because yes. because those in the club are the same people in the church. Oh, you be getting there. You be getting there. Oh. Slowly, slowly. Okay. Wait, just listen Sorry. to me. Excuse. You understand? Mm. Those clubs are owned by the pastors. Oh. Those clubs are owned by the uh, uh, MPs or the politicians. Yeah, yeah. Those clubs are owned by the Muslims. Hmm. You understand? So we're getting there. Oh. You understand? <coughs> I thought we were going to start there. No, 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 no. Okay. When you start there, they will, it won't help. Start from, I know them. They, they are the same people going to the church. So you mean that the very same people who goes to church, yeah. they go to clubs? They are the same. Even the pastors too. They are, they are the same. When they close, they go there. Where's your evidence? They know. When the comment section, they will put it there. They know. <laughs> okay. Oh, they will be telling each yeah, other. Yeah, they know. Oh, they okay. will insult me. Every, but I know. I know. What I'm, don't worry about the comment. It's fine. Uh, I know. Yeah? They are the same people going that side. So, I will start with that law mm-hmm. to minimize noise mm-hmm. in the system. Okay? Mm-hmm. I, start, I start with the Muslims, now to the Christians. Okay? When you are worshipping your God, it yes. must not disturb me. Hmm. You understand? Maybe I don't believe in anything. Uh. I want to sleep. You understand? Hmm. I have to sleep. When you are receiving your anointing, hmm. it must not disturb me. <laughs> it must not disturb me. But now if I'm not, mm. all the churches must do sound proof. Sound proof. In Israel, you cannot make noise whilst a Shabbat, mm. even if you are worshiping God. Mm. If, the no, if the noise goes out, the police will come there. Those living in Israel knows what I'm talking about. Mm. Because I live in Israel before and I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. They have security or some guy who is just for the door. Listening for, the, for, for noise. No, no, no. Okay. The church members. One of them will be at the gate. Okay. When you enter, it closes quickly. Because when the noise goes out, the police will come. But don't you think that's oppression, though? What is oppression? Somebody is mm. somebody's observing Shabbat. It's observing Shabbat. Why are you making noise? But now, as you said, that what does my God has to do with your God, as you said? Right? Yes. So why your God should be recognized and my God as a citizen is You are talking for those in Israel, right? Yeah. Okay. So go to your country. That is the Jewish state. That's not fair, though. What is not fair? It's a Jewish state. Because if that was the... the, the, the okay, now I want to debate this a bit. If that was the case where other citizens are not recognized or they don't have equal rights as them, they weren't supposed to allow them from the beginning to be part of the community. Listen, you are not even part. You are there on tempera. They can decide to pack you like a garbage and put you in a, in a flight within two seconds. But if they're not open to accommodate other people, I don't understand why they do They do allow them from the beginning. I never heard Israelis making advert that please come to our country. They don't even want you there. You are there to make money. Follow their rules. Make your money. Go home. Case closed. It's a Jewish state. We have so it's more like if you, can, if you are a guest in my house, it's my rules. On, it's my way. On yes, yes, way. yes, yes. And I really like them too much for doing that. Do you think our countries, they're going down in most of things, they're becoming crowded and re- high rate of uh, employment and everything because we, we, we allow people to come and control what should be happening in our countries? Listen, Africa is Africa. Okay? Okay. I cannot be a foreigner in Africa. Of course. You understand? As much as we call each other foreigners. You understand? Yeah. But when you go to where you are talking about, yeah, this is a different thing altogether. Even huh. in South Africa, I know very well Jewish are in South Africa. Hmm. But they have their own community. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's them. Hmm. Whenever, wherever they are, 
even Canada, US, wherever they are, mm. they create their own community. That is them. They will never mingle with you. That they is them. They don't disturb other people. That is them. So once you know them, in even in Africa, when you go to their land, it will be easy for you. Mm. That is them. They want to be in their own space, do their own thing, eat mm. their own food. Mm. You know? <clears throat> that is them. So now... So now let me finish with the noise. Okay. Now, about the noise, I'm done with the Muslims. Mm, you're done with Christian. Oh, you're not done no, with Christians. No, the Christians, Muslims, they don't play drums. Okay. They don't play drums. Yeah. You understand? For them, it's... They are done. Yes. Okay. Mm. But Christians, we have worship, uh, Praise. praises, you know. So they, for them, the noise would really affect. I mean, the law will affect them more. So for you to obey the president as a konaba, the rules of the country, get a sound proof. Even in South Africa. Mm. Where my studio is, please do. Don't you see soundproof? There's soundproof because if you don't want to disturb the next. You, you understand? Yeah. There's a soundproof. Mm. So get a soundproof, so that your noise will stay in your corner. You understand? Mm. And then you fit in the law. Everything is fine. Do your thing. Two, there's going to be a requirement for you to open a church. Hmm. Not just a stupid person wake up one day and say God has called me. No. Refrain that you cannot call people who decide to open church because they feel like it's a calling and they have their no, no, no. experience of calling and then you say stupid people. No, no, no. I don't really care about them. You understand? They are just hungry people looking for money. Easy way. So there's going to be a law, okay? Mm. For them. How will I um, implement this law? Yeah. I will go to Rwanda and see the president that side. Mm. That is, um, uh, what is the name? Uh, Paul Gigami. Okay. To teach me how he did it. Okay. Why are you, you adding that? Uh, is he against uh, Christians or churches? No, no. When Paul Kigami became the president, he closed about 5,000 churches. That's the first thing he did. How though? Because because people were living in a spirit and he wanted them to come so we in can reality. think philosophical. So oh. when he did that, ash, the, the country is okay. You understand? So mm. we need them. We need them physically. Mm -hmm. You understand? We need these people to come physically mm -hmm. so we can think physically. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to Paul Kigami. Mm. Then he will teach me how he did it. Mm. Then mm. I'll implement the same law in Ghana. You understand? Okay. Sunday, go and do your church service. No problem. Mm. Monday is a productive hour. Mm. You understand? You must work. If you are not working and you want to pray, you understand? Mm. You pray can go and do your own praying in Ade. That churches that with is sound, with soundproofs. With soundproof and then also giving the certificate to operate. But how will you know now that, okay, this one qualifies? I was going to ask you that, but now because of your bringing. Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Okay. You understand? They will be given certificate to operate. So if you want to stop work and pray, go and pray, no problem. But there's a soundproof. So if I want to go to church, I have to have a certificate? No, I'm the talking pastors. about the pastors. Okay. To open a church. Church. You understand? Like how, how the clubs are... It's been done. Yeah, you, have you to need have you need to be certified sense. that this person can open a church, not just a crazy person opening churches, making noise, disturbing the public, duping the vulnerable ones, using his mind to eat because he's hungry. No, you don't understand. Mm. Not that. Okay. So there's going to be rules to govern that. I'm not against the church. Am I? Am I against the church? No. I'm just telling you to do the right thing. Just do the right thing. And then everything is fine. Because Ghana is not a Christian country. Okay. It's for everybody. So why must your Christianity disturb the Muslims? Why must Muslims disturb Christians? Why must Christians disturb traditionalists? Why must traditionally disturb... You understand? Do your thing. But make sure you don't disturb the other. Which is, I feel like it's a fair point. But now, there's this thing that they say, what is the government? The government is for the people, by the people, from the people, of yeah. the people. Yes, that's why I know the people. 
But now, remember the very same people you be, you will be, um, you want to govern. You, you want to you want to govern and use those rules. Isn't the the rules have to be a panel that decides on that? No, listen. To to be successful as a president in Africa, mm. we don't need this white man's kind of life. It's not going to work. Africans mm. need a hardcore. That's why you see they started voting for small, small president, just young, young ones. Mm. The military taking over, you know? Yeah. Africans need a hardcore. Mm-hmm. You don't need um, uh, a join, case I join. Uh, the Bible says, no, they need hardcore. When you do something, you are killed. Boom. You know, they need hardcore. When you give contract to somebody and you fail to do it, you call a person, boom, you continue, you know? You do it so that... <laughs> That is how it will work. Guys, please don't vote for Ekwanaba, even if he can wake no. up tomorrow no. <laughs> campaigning because he no, will listen. be oppressing people. No, no, no. I'm judging you right now. No, listen. I've given you a job. The rules are no good. You charge the president. I give you money from the taxpayers' money. Go and do your job. <laughs> but why, why is the killing involved? That is when the contract is given. After 10 years, if this route is still potholes mm-hmm. and people are complaining. Mm. And it's another thing that I was going to, because I think I once saw your, your video where you were, you were taking, like you were taking the, the street, you were showing the streets of Ghana, most of them with potholes and everything. And you were questioning what is our, the councillors and the government were doing about it. You see? Yes. So Ghanaians will be like, uh, when when there's a potholes in on the road, they will start insulting the president. Okay. So if I'm the president, I won't wait for you to insult me. Who fixed the road? Okay. I'll call you. Hand you over to the military. Okay. Then they give you hard call. So if you are yes, a president and you gave me a tender to fix the roads yeah. and I don't do what I'm acquired to there's do, nothing like take taking, me to the military. Yeah, I, there's nothing like taking you to court and then... Uh, you, no, 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 no. Straight to the military base. They, to do, to, to do what? they give you hardcore beatings and then you go and do it again. You know, that is how we build, you know, for Africans to get the right thing. You understand? Because we don't like, there's nothing like, please forgive me. Oh, God says, oh, Jesus says, no, it's not going to work. They need beatings, you know. You need to be beaten hardcore so that they will do the right thing. So when somebody is coming for a contract, you say, hey, if I don't do this right, hey. You know, then we take your money, do the right thing, case close. That is how we govern Africa. Because for us, the Bible, Jesus, is not going to help it's us. It's not working. So because we, we if I put violence. if I put Bible with phone, somebody mm. will take it. Let me put muti and this, they will leave it. Nobody will take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they will, when they take it, they will die. Yeah, yeah. That is Africa. You understand? We like we like it hardcore. Hardcore. We don't want this. Uh, pastor coming, oh, please forgive. And then the law says he give. No, no, it's not going to work. You understand? Mm-hmm. So now, from the churches, mm-hmm. let me finish that one. Yes. The rules will be there. The pastors will get certificate to operate. Yeah, yeah. And then we will be monitored. You understand? You are not supposed to sell anything in the church. Once you says, start selling, the certificate will change and it will be enterprise. You pay tax. Mm, I like that. You understand? Mm. Once you see, because when you when you make uh, let's say anointing oil, you are not supposed to sell in the church. Take it to the market. Mm. That's the marketplace. Then pay tax. Mm. But once you are selling in the church, your certificate will be changed. It will be enterprise. Maybe a Kwanaba church enterprise. Then you start paying tax. Case closed. I like that one. You understand? That so like so it. anybody selling in the church. Hmm. Will pay tax. I can, I can, I, I want to agree with you on that one because now most of pastors they will, they, they will mention that God given me this in a dream that I have to mix this and this and that to to heal, right? And then now, if you were given that advice for free, because people, it says in the Bible it was given to you for free and you must give out for free. It's that's in the what Bible. I, I agree. Yeah. Okay, so if you don't want to give for free, no problem. Sell it pay tax case close hmm. you understand if god reveals something to you that you can leave these leaves to heal the sick hmm. you are not a pastor again you are a traditionalist 
because now you are taking leaves. Yeah? You go to the bushes, you take leaves, mm. and then you start making take uh, your urine. medical you medication your from urine. it. So now you are not a pastor, you are a herbalist. <laughs> so you start paying tax as a herbalist. Yeah. You understand? Yes. So forget about being pastor. Now your certificate, we change it. You are a herbalist. So mm. you are going to a herbal doctor. You pay tax. But now, okay, in my in my country, I've 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 came across uh, videos where someone says, "I am a prophet and a sangoma. I do them both." So if I would be a pastor at church, who knows, a uh, who knows herbs? What are, are you gonna allow such things so, if you were a prophet? So a so so once it's religion, okay, mm-hmm. you are a sangoma and also a pastor. Mm. You you are going to back it with a Bible verse. If you were able to give me a Bible verse that happened in the Bible, that there was a pastor or a reverend or a prophet, also a sanguma in the Bible, then it's, you are free to do your thing. If there is none, choose one. Take your certificate. I wouldn't vote for you as a president. Why? Because you choose one. And then you take your certificate. Hmm. Let people know I am a Sanguma. Case close. I am a Christian. Case close. When you start mixing, then... But you, now they are both part of healing. They they heal, right? Whether I'm a prophet or I'm a Sanguma. So why can't you allow both to work in one There's person? no problem being a Sanguma. A Sanguma, uh, in our language, they yeah. call it um, a Bosonfo mm. or a traditionalist. Mm. You understand? Or mm. Konfo. Comfort. Okay, mm. so there's no problem being a comfort. Yeah. Be or comfort, take your certificate and do your sangoma thing. You understand? Okay. Mm. And then, but if I have both callings, as they say, from others. Who? From who? Most of them, like I am a pastor and I, I, I am. They need to sangoma. back it with a Bible verse. Okay. Let me tell you. You're this. not saying it doesn't exist, but you want someone who's going to come with it. It's not existing anywhere in the Bible. That there was a prophet also as Anguma in the Bible. No. Okay? So what I'm saying is the person who is saying he's a pastor and also a Sanguma. Mm. Let me tell you straight, that person is a Sanguma hundred percent. He has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Mm. But because people are shy to go to Sangomas, mm. then I will put on suit. Okay. And then use the Sanguma. Okay, so you'll come at church. After coming to church, I'll give you an you are not going to church. after hours. You are not going to church. You are going to a Sangoma. But now it's been modernized Okay. as a church. Oh. You understand? Okay. So automatically, any pastor who says he's a Sangoma and also a pastor mm. and has a church, mm. it's a Sangoma. But people are shy. They feel shy. They feel ashamed going to the Sangoma. Mm. So now he wants to come back to the public. To get them, let me be Christian. Okay. And they use my Sangoma. Mm. He's a Sangoma. You understand? So they should choose one. Okay. Any pastor, even in Ghana, you understand? Any pastor who knows how to heal, take uh, herbs, take leaves to do deliverance, blah, blah, blah. They are all ritualists. When I say ritualists, people will be thinking differently. Mm-hmm. They are traditionalists. Mm-hmm. You understand? They are Sangomas. They are Akonvo. We call it a comfort. Any pastor in Ghana who uses leaves, herbs to heal mm. is a comfort. Is a sangoma. Is a traditionalist. But he cannot go into that full time job. Mm-hmm. People will not come. So let me brand it and make it a church. So when you come with your troubles, I'll fix it with this herbal thing. It will be fixed. But now, you know. Speaking of that, let me give you glimpses of what I know in my, let me say rather in my tribe. We have Isangoma and then we have Ikweli. So those people are, it's two different people. Isangoma, it's someone who goes and initiate, who has been taught how to use uh, these things. The, 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 it's someone, they say they have a calling. So they, they, are, they will be told by the ancestors how, how what to mix to heal the to heal people right so those ones are called isangoma because they they it's something that has to do with spirituality i believe so and then it's someone 
I could I, I could call it I don't want to say a witch <laughs> but it it's someone who knows herbs without hearing voices and say they have to throw bones and say yeah you see your uncle said you should do this they don't do that so you go to them you tell them what you want literally you tell them if you want to kill you want to heal you want to do what so those ones are called equally but they both use the same umut. Mm -hmm. so we have something like that so as you was we were mentioning uh, the the pastors and i was like let me share that what i know okay yeah so so these people calling themselves pastors these days mm -hmm. they are all sangomes okay okay they are all Sangomes. Jesus is not talking to any of them. Okay? okay. They are Sangomes. They are being controlled by their family uh, family goals. Mm -hmm. They are being controlled by the family goals. I mean, goals that is in their family. Mm -hmm. That's what they are using. Mm -hmm. They are all... That's why they say you have to take with us but to touch his kwam. Your great-grandmother was a Sangoma. Yeah, she yeah, left yeah. her bones. So now you have to take... For me. From... Not from you. Yeah. From me. Mm -hmm. So you can attack me. Okay. okay? Mm. All of them. They are being controlled by their family goals. Mm. Jesus is not talking to any of them. Okay. Okay. So they are they are shy. You know, they don't feel comfortable operating in that realm mm. as a Sanguma. Mm. So they do the cover up to be pastors. All of them. Hmm. Okay. I know the comment section people will be insulting. Why are you saying all of that? I don't care. You can't do me anything. I'm telling the truth. It's your truth. That, that's my truth. Mm. So all of them, that is what they do. So you, the church member, yeah. must know that Which this person one? is a sanguma. Okay. Or this person is worshipping this. Mm -hmm. You must know. Let me finish with the noise. Yes. Because I didn't finish with the noise. I'm sorry. For the Christians, I'm done with them. Mm. I mean, I show how to yes, fix it. Now to the clubs. They need soundproofs. You understand? Mm. Certificate to operate. They will pay tax. You understand? By 8 o'clock, you understand? People are sleeping. You feel to enjoy. You are going to pay times two. You understand? You will pay huh? times two. But especially especially time. on Shabbat. On Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You pay times two. So if you are selling malt outside or you're selling Guinness outside, 10 Ghana, when you go to the club, they will give it to you 30 Ghana because they, will, they are paying tax times two. So clubs will be more expensive. More expensive. Hmm. So you'd rather drink at home? Yeah, that, because in, in Israel, when it's Shabbat and you open shops, the tax, let's say the tax is 10%, you are paying 15 or 20%. Okay. That's how they make money. Mm. And the Jews are not doing, uh, the, the rabbis are not opening shop. Well, for them, they will stay home. They understand. It's for the foreigners. Mm. So we give them money always. Mm. So and you're, all working, this you're clubs, literally working for them, isn't it? Your profit yeah. is too little when it's like that. So all these clubs in Ghana, mm. especially my country, Ghana, have been owned by Lebanese, Chinese, you know, big, big. They will pay tax times two. You understand? So what, if you feel like buying Guinness, mm. 30 Ghana, it's your mm. problem. Go and buy it. But they are paying tax, uh, tax mm. times two. Wow, okay, I didn't know that. For me, I'm learning here. Yes, as a president, I'm speaking as a president. Yes, 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 president. You understand? Mm. So they will pay times two. You understand? Okay. Because I want to limit the taxpayers' money in the system and put it on the people that want to enjoy Okay. The market woman, instead for them to pay 10%, I will take them 5%, add it to the clubs. Okay. Wow. You understand? Okay. So people who are working hard, you will be they will make, make They will make money. And then when you make your money, it's either you go and give it to the club or you keep it yourself. Okay. That's a good one. You understand? Mm. So when you make the money, you choose mm. whether to give it to the club and then I will take it back as a president. Mm. Or you keep it and then do the investment. Because will be expensive. And then you, or you keep it, you do investment. Or the small, small sport. Mm. Small, small joint. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. For them, they, don't, they cannot do the soundproof. 
Yeah, so for them, their tax will be three times three. You understand? You're so worried. For them, their tax will be times three. Because they cannot do some proof. Yeah. You see, somebody is having a, a beer bar yeah. at a corner store. Mm. They, there's no sound proof. Three times. So he's, he's going to pay three times. Because of that will be the factor of the noise. The noise. Most, yeah, most. noise pollution. So you pay three times three. So you see how I'm putting taxes on them. Yeah. And leaving the church. Yeah. Just follow the or, or the rules and, and worship your God. Hmm. Because I never put tax on you. Hmm. I only put tax on you when you start selling, selling in the, the church. church. So it means that you're not against the church. No, no, no. Do your thing. Hmm. But the rules. And when I start that nobody should sell in the church, when you sell in the church, you are going to pay tax. The church will close by itself and they start opening companies. Mm-hmm. They will start opening companies. Mm-hmm. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They will start opening companies. And every church or every mosque that is disturbing the neighborhood, they are able to petition the government that this church is in my neighborhood, it's disturbing me. We will just pull down the church, make a recreational center, that side. The church, straight to the bush. When you want to worship, you go to the bush. Isolate yourself from the community because you're disturbing. To this, you understand? Mm-hmm. That is when the community thinks they are being disturbed. But remember the bush still... Bush is it's still under the state. It's a state property. But nobody is living there. So, so you're going to give them for free? Yeah, for free. Because I used your, your, your site oh, yeah. for recreational centers, mm. for playing grounds. I love that. You understand? So go to the bush and mm. do your thing. But pray that animals don't complain that they are, you are disturbing them. You understand? You need to pray. Animals now? Yeah, because they have to sleep. The cows, the because monkeys... The cows, the monkeys, the 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 the, the snakes, you know, the the lions. They and need then, to sleep. how will you know that they're not happy? Because they will start will, being wild. It will come from the wildlife group. And then come to the community. The wildlife. Yeah. You know, people are taking care of this animal. Yeah, yes. The wildlife. So mm. the wildlife will petition the government that the animals are complaining. <laughs> if they do that. Yeah. Unfortunately. Then. Go to heaven. So it's going to be process, you know. And they will understand it. (laughs) So if the Muslim is in the community, I mean, and then they don't feel safe with the noise to the bush. If you want to worship, go to your WhatsApp group. And you send to the group. They will hear it in the group. It shows that you have prayed. Yeah, and then they will come there and worship. That is how to control all this uh, noise, you know. The same thing applies to the traditionalists to, you know, you know, the same thing. You understand? Mm. Then we are coming back to the television. Hmm. And the radios. And the radios. Mm. It should be educational. It should be something that is going to profit the citizens. It's not like, I pray the man with Jesus. It's also a serious noise. So the radio stations that will accept such content, they are tax times three. It's like that of uh, the the beer bars are yeah, yeah, yeah. outside. You understand? Yes. You must make it money from their mistakes. It's mistakes. Yeah, because when we but want to entertainment, it's very important for us to unwind. I'm after not saying I'm not saying it's a problem. Days and you understand? Entertainment. Let's say somebody mistakes. goes on your television station mm. to preach. And then after preaching, um, he duped people. Mm. I'm not going to look for that person that do the uh, publication or the, that person that hosted the program. You deal with the straight to the management. Broadcasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Straight to the management. Uh-huh. You understand? Like uh, this lady called Agrada, once, once a time they said uh, she was duping people on the internet, on the social media, on t- television mm. stations. When such thing happens, don't go straight to the station. How did you allow this to happen? Yeah. <clears throat> you cannot tell me you don't know she or he is defrauding people outside. Hmm. That is not my problem to monitor. You mm-hmm. are to monitor. Make straight, straight, straight laws. 
and you see everything everybody will be fine do you, do you think our social platforms they do brainwash us and they exposing things in maybe not too relevant people yeah uh, when you watch tiktok mm-hmm. and then you see chinese on live programs this phone this phone when you press here is this the 2013 phone and then you can buy this look at the back that's how the chinese yeah. but when you see the africans You see? And then it's, others are tweaking. Others are making uh, profit from it. Others are fooling. So we will monitor all this. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you make comment, any comment that is uh, dangerous or threatening, you'll be arrested. Mm. This is how to control Africans. Hmm. You understand? And, the, and then from there, straight to parliament. We are no more going to swear in with the Bible. Okay, hmm. you swear in with your chest, like how you used to do our anthem. Yes, yes, you're feeling your heart, you're speaking something from your heart. heart. Uh. Like I'm going to be MP for, let's say, Limpopo. Okay, if I steal money, please kill me. Case closed. And the day you steal money, we go back to that. Yes, it's nothing like uh, the constitution. No, 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 blacks, we want hardcore. I, I told, I'm telling the truth. Hmm. You understand? So when you steal money or you, you scandal some money, whatever, straight to the military. We, we're living upon your word. You said. Yes. You agreed. Yes. Mm. So, but when you say, I swear on the Bible, that this... Uh, it's not your words. Swear by your heart. So when you do anything wrong, you we take use your, your tape, words against you. Use your words against you. That is how we control Africa. Hey. Have you ever thought about this or you just... Thinking about it now as I'm asking. It's in you. my mind. Right now. Every day. Oh. That's what I'm Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I once said it uh, in my videos. Okay. That this road, we are not supposed to be making videos and insulting the president. Mm. Who did this road? Who did it? Mm. Bring the person out. That is what is important. Mm. We don't care about the percentage somebody took. Somebody took a percentage before I got the. Con- I lost my problem. Mm. I'm a president. I signed a contract. The rest do you it. want the relevant person whose responsibility Bring, is to fix how things. did it not work come and say it i don't want any explanation mm. you understand because you have to think differently you know mm-hmm. there are a lot of things we can do in africa especially ghana but because of this religious things mm-hmm. people are not reasoning people are fooling around you understand mm. spiritually they say anything spiritual you yeah. understand mm. they put a president the, this this man is going to be president, let's say, 2024. Mm, so under that, that day, mm. the president is swearing an oath. Mm. There's a prophet somewhere. I saw in the spirit that this president is going to die in the next one year. You, you have to be arrested. <laughs> because if are I'm you going gonna to... Send, are you going to send people to to arrest the president? Or yeah, what? yeah. Where, wherever you to are. To kill the president. No, no, no. Wherever you are. Your, your station or where the church is, the community, I will just call the commander that side to bring you. You understand? Mm. The system needs to be sanitized because I'm coming to rule the country of Ghana for years. And the day I swear in, you are prophesying that I will die in the next one year. I haven't served my purpose as a president. So in my work, in my line of work as a president, I'm living in fear. In fear. So these things need to be, you know, minimized, you know. So if really I'm, I'm a spiritual person and I saw that, I should keep it to myself. Not to warn you that you should be careful. If you think what you saw is right. and Prote- you, and you, you need and, to protect me. No, what you saw is right. Mm. And you can fix it. You have solution to it. Mm. Go to the commander on that side. Mm. Tell the commander, please, I want this message to reach the president. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to come outside. And this message, this is the solution. Oh, don't come with the problem. No, no. Come with the solution. As well. Oh. When you saw in the spirit I was going to die, ask them, how will I prevent it? They will tell you in the spirit. Yeah. So when you are coming with the information, come with the solution as well. Yeah. I agree because I always said, 
with me i have a problem mostly i'm not i'm not generalizing but mostly of uh, zangomas they always tell you what's going to happen the dark what what but they never come with the solution yeah so, and they never say in in the next three months i see good things happening mm-hmm. to you they don't say such things yeah. they always come with your neighbor is bewitching you there's a neighbor this side there's a neighbor this side there's a neighbor okay. which which one okay. which neighbor so, and then now as my neighbor you're greeting me the following day and i didn't sleep well yeah and so I'm like oh he's testing if i did sleep. to stop all this community fight stuff like and that paranoia. anything you say <clears throat> come with your evidence and then solutions as well then when i fix with your solution I'll communicate with the commander. Mm. Then we give you something. So now, do you think if in that four years it would work? Ah. How long will it take? Because remember, we've been in this maybe for a century. How will you? Once you have the power, once you have power, mm. just make a statement on television. You done. Done. And then all that the institutions, the police, whatever, whatever. Mm. You understand? If I see you taking bribe, I will first sack you from the police service, mm-hmm. give you to the military. The, you have military police. Yeah. Their hand is like this, you know. Mm. Then we give you to them. They will give you a good training. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And you, every time when you think of doing it again, yeah. you won't. You are not just going to be called and be committee and then we'll be talking. No, no, no. Sack the person straight to the military police. Serious training. When it comes, the mind will start working. But that's abuse, man. Violence, no, no, no. so much violence. No, 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 stop. I'm telling you, Africans need this. We need beatings. We need beatings, hardcore. Africans vote for Ekwanaba. You understand? So, so, so this is what it's about. You understand? Yeah. It's not about me uh, just talking. Mm. But when I have the opportunity or a friend who is um, a president, you would give them you will give them this advice ah. right man you'll be the right hand man if they want me to to mm. sign with my blood i would do it mm. if they want me to sign the documents mm. to implement all this mm. laws i just mentioned yeah. i would just cut my hand and pour with the blood <laughs> to sign yeah <laughs> i hear you um at the beginning when i asked you this question um you mentioned that um you when you were talking about noise you mm-hmm. said your god shouldn't disturb my god yeah and there was a time there, there there are times when you speak you always say no your god can you please just break it down for me how is it to know your god <clears throat> how how is it to say i know my god and i live through my god not your okay. god cuz i I'm, i'm asking this because there was a day <clears throat> excuse me I had a conversation with my aunt. I said there are times where you will be around other people, mm-hmm. right? And then there's this thing of let's pray, guys, before we start this uh, whether it's a training or whatever it is, mm-hmm. let's pray. And then you will hold hands. And I said to her, my worry is that we all know that we believe in different things. Mm-hmm. And now praying with these pe- people a uh, holding hands you might end up being chained in whatever that they pray upon mm-hmm. how will i know that i'm i'm safe within those people and she said to me be specific with your god within them the moment they say in god oh god jesus god mention who's god you praying to at that time if you have to say in jesus name of nazareth do so call your god that is jehovah so that if they praising another god they should know that you're not part of the god that they they yes, pray sir. yeah yeah mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay so that know your god thing okay knowing your god is very important knowing your god is very important hmm. because you know if i ask you now do you believe that you have keys to your apartment or you know that you have keys to your apartment what will be your answer yes i know you know yes so you just you don't believe because you know you have know. keys you can even prove it by yes. you, you understand yeah so you know your god don't believe in other people's god believing and knowing is different it's different yes believing is not knowing so don't believe in 
somebody's God. Know your God. Don't say, I believe in my pastor. I believe in my, my, my reverend. I believe in my papa. I believe my dad. That, that kind of uh, uh, stupidity is some of this spiritual tabas, their mind. Yeah? I believe in the, the spirit of uh, this pastor. I believe, you, know, you understand? Mm. That is belief. You don't even know. No, no. You must say, I know my pastor's source of worship. Mm. See that. How do you think there are those who confidently would say, I know my pastor will, will come through for me? Listen, mm. there's one guy in Ghana called Ajagoreja. Mm. He is saying, that he has angel called Ajagureja. Mm. When he is traveling to abroad, mm. he told me in a video, mm. I travel with my Ajagureja. Okay. okay. Ajagureja, is it something it's, that he has committed cult? Like he made a I don't know. He said it's an it's a angel. It's, okay, it's his angel. So when you go to him, you are worshiping that Ajagureja for which you believe but you don't know. Hmm. Because he, he knows. Whenever he is going or wherever he is traveling to, he goes with that Ajagoreja. He doesn't believe. He knows. He knows. That's why he goes with it. Wherever he goes. You understand? So when he goes and he did not return back to Ghana, what again are you going to worship? Hmm. You understand? Because of he left with the with the, with the with, with what the, people believed in. This is what he said. I love this. So know your God, so that when I am not around, you can talk to your God. Hmm. You understand? Give me a thought. Hmm. Know your God, so that when I am not around, you can talk to your God. Let's say if you taking me as your spiritual father, hmm. I am your spiritual father. Okay, fine. You died at the back of my closet mm. you don't even know what i am worshiping you've taken me as your spiritual father i go to my closet i talk to what i am worshiping what i know i do my rituals to what i know and come back to me. i come back to you because of you you took the energy from what you believe as well now you sit in front of me mm. i put my hand here to heal you this is where your power lies mm. It's dangerous for you to allow yourself for a pastor, a man of God. A, I don't even want to call them man of God. Who is man of God? Uh, somebody whoever, calling himself a prophet. Whoever that you call as your authorizer, rather. Putting his, 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 his hand on your forehead is dangerous. Never allow it. Hmm. Never allow it. That is why, why they are controlling you guys going to them. Because that is your source of power. Hmm. He has the source of power. So it's like an electric. It's connected through him to you. So you are now talking to God through him to the gods hmm. or whatever he is worshipping. So when you go to a church and then the, I am able to call your name, mention your name, uh, even the dress you are wearing, the food you eat, uh, your boyfriend, your mother, whatever. It doesn't make that person a prophet. Hmm. A soothsayer can say the same thing, right? Yeah. A palm reader can, can do the same. A sangoma can do the same. So why are you saying he is a prophet? <clears throat> so then, if you believe that somebody can just look at you, uh -huh. tell you everything from head to toe, mm. and a sangoma can do the same thing to you, please go and pay your tithe to the Sangoma. Okay. Because he's also telling you the telling, same. telling me exactly what uh, they could tell me. You understand? I so never it. allow anybody to touch your forehead. Also, don't take anybody as your spiritual father. Or mother. Or mother. Because ask the person, who is your spiritual father to? If Are we allowed to ask them though? Because you are damp, because they are fools, they follow pastors, because they are just jokers, they follow prophets, because they don't have the mind to think, they think with the heart. Mm -hmm. But I thought heart is supposed to breathe, but they are thinking with the heart, mm -hmm. and their mind is the heart breathing. Mm -hmm. 
So they don't think through the brain, they think through the heart. That is why they follow these guys. And then they cannot ask them sensible questions. Mm. You understand? That is, what, and others, you should remember that there are pastors that you are not even allowed to talk to them direct. There should be they, someone they, who they've speaks made to them. someone and someone to speak with someone. They've made these crooks, they've made these gangsters, they've made these mafias, they've made this cartel demigods. You understand? So mm. they see them as their God. Some even see pastors as their Jesus. You understand? Mm. These are fools. I remember, you know, as you say that, I remember this friend of mine told me that he broke up with his girlfriend because when they have to have sex, she will say, I need to check with my pastor if I'm ready to have sex. Yes, yeah, it's, it's for real. And then when she has to go to the parents, to her parents to visit, I need to check with my pastor if my path is, is good for me to go. You understand? So now I have to wait for her to say, the pastor says I'm ready now to have sex. You understand? <laughs> so I was like, is there such a thing? I was like, yeah. Any man who is watching me and your wife is stick to pastors, stick to prophets, stick to papas, stick to mamas, stick to spiritual fathers, run for your life. Hmm. They will kill you. Because now they can say, this man is the one who's holding on your things. Kill him. You would do that. She's not thinking. Or he is not thinking. He would do it. <sighs> I told my wife, immediately I saw even a pastor's number on your phone. I would divorce you. And this I would is, do it. This is deep than, that, than I thought. And I would do it because that time he, she cannot think. Hmm. She would do anything. For the pastor. It's very deep. When you are talking about religious issues like this. Hmm. Very dangerous. It is. Even my family. I know that some of my family members. Or my siblings. They are following these criminals. Calling themselves pastors. And as I'm talking against them. They can even work through my sisters. To get me. Do you think so? Very easy. When you become a spiritual child to a pastor... You become a puppet. Puppet is... You are, you are, you are just dumb. Fool, foolish. <laughs> Stupid. You cannot think. And she or he would do it. You can just call. Uh, is your brother in town? You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. He will say, yes. Can I see where he is? Yeah, it is the address. He says answering because it's Papa speaking. It's so Mama now speaking. So you want to tell me that even if you were to travel closer to your siblings, you wouldn't, you you don't tell them that I'm gonna be at this point. They will just see you by coming through to see them. I have a different mindset concerning my siblings, my family. Okay. I don't trust anybody. You understand? Hmm. Because everybody has his own way of doing his own thing. Anyway, we shouldn't trust anyone. But I was you understand? Outside. You understand? Mm. Even the Bible said that even your wife that is sleeping closer to you, you must put, a, a, I think it's a pillow or something. Mm. You shouldn't voice out your secrets. To them. You understand? Because they might use them against you in the future. I know very well. If somebody is not knowing his or her God and is worshipping through somebody's God, that person is automatically a foolish person. And that person can do anything for that person. Huh. So know your God is very important. I know my God. Mm. I pray to my God. Mm. I sleep. I and don't you don't pray. have to be questioning other people's gods, isn't it? I don't care about other people's God. Yeah. But I, I care about other people's using their God to manipulate others. I see. You understand? Huh. Why are you using your own God to manipulate others? That I saw in the spirit, and the, and the, the, the spirit that I'm using, my angel, mm -hmm. I can see deep down in my in my feel in my in the spirit that the Lord is telling me mm -hmm. that you need to give me the money in your account, and the Lord is going to deposit money into your account in the next five, ten minutes. You know? Sure. Speaking of that, you know that there was this 
video that I saw people crying of a certain pastor said, I don't know how I gave him my pension fund. You understand? But like, you the one who went to the bank? No. Or you the one who took your phone and transferred? How do you say you, you don't recall how you did that? There's do you nothing, think that, that there's thing nothing exists? Like, there's nothing like charm. You see, the person is just being foolish. Okay? Because these pastors only operate in their cubicle. Yeah. They only operate that side. When you go there, it's when they will get access to you. If you don't go there, they will never get access to you. Yeah. Get, you get my point? They will never. They will never. So stop going there and you'll be free. Once you step your foot there, they will get access to you. I feel you. You know, I hear exactly what you're saying. Because life, so life is a reflection of what you give it to. You understand? If right now I give my energy to something else, it will come to life, isn't it? Yeah, it will happen, 100%. Hmm. So it is happening to them because they allowed themselves. The energy and the time and the thought. You understand? The, yeah. They use their bundles. They use their anointing oils. Yeah. They use their powder. They use everything of that pastor. You don't know what he impacted into that. So you are his child. That's why they call my child, mm. my son, and my your daughter. child. Of course, your child will do your orders in the house. That's what I say. My daughter, mm. my son. Mm-hmm. You understand? I hear you. you. Now you get the point. I hear you. So people are running to these guys. You know why? Why? Because. The Bible says, seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness first, and the rest shall be added unto you. Now, they don't want to seek the kingdom and the righteousness first. They are looking for the rest that is supposed to be added unto them. So now they want the shortcut. So what they are doing is they want to bribe God through pastors. (laughs) Now you get the point. Because they always promise, promise, God is hearing you right now. You're going to have a house. You are blessed. You are blessed. You're going to have a car. You're going to have a job. And then you hear people like, they become so vulnerable. Because he, the one saying this, you believe he is the one hearing that voice. Hmm. You, you get what I'm saying? I do. So you are going to bribe that person to, to get to speed up. Please talk to your God. I'm the one who came first with the better money. So tell him to give me. That is why when you go to these criminals, okay? When you go to these criminals, yeah. they have lines or queues. This queue is for 500 Ghana. This queue is 1,000 Ghana. This queue is 3,000. This is emergency lie. Are you serious? Unfortunately, I, I've never been exposed to such churches. Yeah, yeah. They, are, they, are, they, they have emergency line. I don't line. know whether to say unfortunately or fortunately. Okay. They have emergency line. They have uh, ten, 10 Ghana. So emergency, it's the one, those... Those who want to get access quick, 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 quick. What I'm saying quick. is they are the one who first reaches to... Yeah. God's, uh, uh, I don't know, but emergency line. That means you will go faster than those, you understand? So they are in the queue, holding their money. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, emergency line. You understand? Hmm. So that's how it works. So all of them are going to bribe God. You understand? Hmm. Somebody is in the line. The reason why the person is in the line, I'm going to kill somebody. That's why I'm telling you, all these churches are shrines. Because it's only shrine that we kill. Hmm. In the Bible, as a Christian, say, pray for those who even curse you and bless those who even hate you. It's in the Bible. Hmm. So you are going there to kill somebody. And then you go ask for to the you ask you wanna tell me I can go to my pastor and say I want to kill somebody and say, Bless you, God is listening to you. Pastors ask people to bring knives, cutlasses, to bring uh, brooms, to bring fire, to bring to to pray unto their enemies. But the Bible says pray for your enemy. In other words, say kill your enemy. It's my first time. You understand? So, yeah. so the automatically, these guys are going there to kill. Jesus, clearly. They are going to kill. Clearly. Back to the sender. Yes, they are going to kill. Yeah. You understand? So, mm-hmm. they are not seeking the uh, uh, God and its righteousness, the kingdom and its righteousness first. They want the rest to be added unto them. They are not working, but they want to get money. You understand? Mm-hmm. Even in the Bible, when God 
was able to feed 5,000 people with manna. Mm -hmm. You understand? Manna came from heaven mm -hmm. and then they ate. After eating, the children and then the female or the women were not even counted in that 5,000 season. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So now, God asked them to keep the remaining food, not to even destroy them, mm -hmm. to keep them. Mm -hmm. It means God does not do miracles every day. day. I see you. I hear you. You understand? Mm. That's what it means. Keep it so that next time when you need food, you can eat, eat it. Ah. It means God does not do miracle every day. Every second. Every seconds. That is the reason for keeping that food. Because it's easy. You fed 5,000 people. Let's just destroy this food. Tomorrow, said I'll do another one. Tomorrow, another I'll one will come. Another one. Why should I keep it? Yay. He's teaching them how to save. You that understand? one I'm taking. You said other things that <laughs> I disputed, but that, that's why I agree. He's teaching them mm. how to save. Mm. So God even wants you as a Christian to save because he doesn't do miracles every, every day. day. I needed to hear that. You understand? So, but people go to these criminals for what they think they can get from this criminal. You understand? Mm. That is why they are duped. And when they are duped, they cannot go to the police station because you went there to bribe God. Bribery yeah. is also a crime. A crime. <laughs> a sin. <laughs> you understand? You went there to bribe God and you are being duped. Do you even know this God? You even that know you, this God. That you so you into. must know your God. Then you can worship your God. Your way. You understand? I Jewish Jewish know their God. They know their God. Mm. That is why even in the bus, they open their Bible. Mm. They pray. Because they, they know the time. Consistency. They don't need to go into the synagogue yeah. to pray. They can pray everywhere. Okay. Like Muslims. Because of they know that their God is everywhere. Like they Muslims. don't have to go to the church. You understand? But you, you have to go to the church because you pray through your pastor. <laughs> yeah. You understand? But mm -hmm. if you know you, your God, you don't need to go to the church to pray. This is the church. Mm. Pray. Jesus never prayed with the team. Whenever Jesus wants to pray, he goes into the mountain. That's what is written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Jesus was in the mountain. He went to pray. They saw this. Da, 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 da. He prayed secretly. Hmm. So pray secretly. And yeah, he left He left his prophets. And then he went to pray. And secretly. Secretly. You understand? Mm. So you must pray secretly to your God. Because but your God... Have you seen these people at church? Now I'm going to judge them. You can come for me for this one because it's what I saw. Have you seen those people showing off with the tongues at church? Mm -hmm. It's more like they, they're competing who can speak better tongues. They are, shouting. They are the same people doing the walking robbery. Walking around, you know, showing off. And now it's more like you want, I want you to see what, what the label you're wearing today. And then who can pray better than who, who, who? That's what I'm saying. They are the same people doing corruption in the country. They are dangerous than the street guys, mm. the church goers. You understand? Mm. The Christi, those calling themselves Christians, mm. do calling themselves religious bodies. Mm. They are dangerous than the, the hood boys, the boys in, in the, you know, in the mm. street. Mm. They are doing nothing. And, we, and and the saddest part is we trust Christians or people who goes to church or believers, whatever that you can call them. We trust them more than more than other people. I, I, don't, I don't trust them. Yeah, but majority. Yeah, that's their problem. But for me, I don't trust you. Mm -hmm. Don't even tell me you're a Christian. No. Let me find out myself. That is what was done in Antioch. Mm -hmm. When the Christians go to Antioch, mm -hmm. their lifestyle depict that of Christ. So when they go to Antioch, they call them, ah, these are Christians because their life depicts that of Christ. So Christianity is not a religion, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. So now, you mean that as, as, as we, you, 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 you mentioned earlier that 
they are the people who goes to the club are the very same people who goes to church. Yes. What lifestyle is that then? That's what I'm saying. Because Christianity feels too pampered. Let me go and sin. The next Sunday I'll come I'll, and pray. Because now it, it was trending on social platforms. People now, they, they're from church, they're in the clubs. So they like, oh, our sin today, our sins today, they are washed. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what they think. That let me go and sin. Sunday and I'll repent. come and ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. But in my proverb, they say, Okasia. Mm-hmm. You turn your phone prancer. A foolish person or a stupid person or an idiot is the person that is taking advice three times. Once bitten, twice shy. So those people going to church seeking and also asking for uh, please uh, Lord forgive me, they are idiots. Because you, you, you know see knowing and you hoping know, to come back. You again. know very well what I'm doing is a sin. You know. And that is what is written in the Bible. It said the, uh, the sin that you commit that you don't know, I, Lord, I, the Lord, may forgive you. But the sin that you know and you keep committing, I will never forgive you. It's in the Bible. I have a question like that here. Okay. Do you believe in forgiveness? Do you, do you as a person, personally, do you believe in forgiveness? No. The thing that you do, it reflects back to you. You understand? If you do bad to me, I will try and do the same thing to you. You don't give people the benefit of a doubt after they've they know, wronged they, you? They know they were going to wrong me. You understand? This is my first time I'm saying this. I have a lot of people on the social media platforms, bloggers, yeah. media houses. Mm. They've gone against me. Mm. And I will go against them before I die. Yeah, on my blacklist. I regret for asking this because you're saying it's the first time that you're gonna yeah, say this. Yeah, this is the first social, time. Yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. I, 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 I said it that do you believe? Do you believe in forgiveness? It's it's, it it's, it's on my blacklist. If I was able to even arrest my junior brother for taking my money, how much more you? You understand? And then what? What? What are you expecting if you you wronged someone? Do you ask for forgiveness? No. What do you do? Do whatever you want to do. If you want to jail me, if you want to take me to but prison. But sometimes you, you, do, you, do, you do mistakes. Everything that I'm doing is not a mistake. I know. Everything that I am doing, don't take it as a mistake. I know. But remember, sometimes they say we can be caught up in the moment no. and then regret later. I know. I know what I asked you the last, the last time I asked you. Do, you, do you have regrets? You said no. If you cause the problem, fix it. Yeah. So now... It's more like I want. I wanted to know if you if you're that person who believes in forgiveness. Because why I'm asking you this? Most of people they they always talk about forgiveness, mm-hmm. but that person will bring that thing later on, and you said you for you forgave me, and then for me it always go back that you shouldn't have forgiven me from the beginning if you knew very well that you did not forgive me. You are a danger to me because every time when you look at me, it means that you still remember what I did to you. You didn't completely forgive me. I love me. people that let me, uh, they, they, they portray or they show or they let me know that they hate me. I love this kind of people. Mm, me too. Because you know where you stand with those people. Don't act like you like me. Mm. Let me know you hate me. It's fine. I love this kind of people. Yeah. Okay. And I even watch a lot of bloggers, mm. their videos. Mm. I have issues with them when I get them. And they, let's say they give me, let's say, gun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can shoot, boom, 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 kill them, you know what I'm saying? But still, I watch their videos because yeah. I love them. Because mm. I love people that let me know that they hate How me. You, they feel about you. You understand? Yeah, because they say mostly we are harmed by people who are very close to us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like this. Because my, even myself, that's what I always say about my best friend. I always say I like her because I know where I stand with her. When, when do, you know, do you know my sister mm-hmm. once sent a voice message to me that I'm a wicked person? Wicked. Wicked. And because of that, I don't like you. You are wicked. You know why? Because I'm telling her the truth. Hmm. But I don't think she meant it, she in, meant a, in, it. A, in an evil way. She meant it. You know why? Because that sister made a comment. For me, I don't care everything. I just say it online, whether it's family or whatever. I don't care. You understand? Mm. When my father died, 
that sister of mine accused my stepmother that he was the she was the one who killed my father. Mm. You understand? And I said to my sister, "You are also a lady. You are also a woman." And you know, such things they happen. If it obviously. happens to you, yeah, they they happen. Most of widows they always be. The if it happens suspects. to you, if it happens to you too, you must know that you cause it. And then it happened to her. And then now it it shows that now, they are wicked. <laughs> now her husband is dead. Mm. The family is saying she, she killed the husband. The case. Mm. All the family members were behind her. I said no, she killed it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that is why I'm telling you <laughs> this this is me. Mm. You know? So you agreed with the family. Yes, you killed you killed your husband. Yeah. You understand? So when he sent me that message, I said this is why you, you don't like me. Because I always tell you the truth. Once you are saying my stepmother killed my father, and you, your husband is dead, and then the family is accusing you, please accept it. You kill your husband. And now they've moved her from the house, thrown her out of the house, from your own husband's house. You understand? Because they see her as a killer. You threw her out. And now she's living in one of the my house. Okay. No. And I'm telling her, This place is tempera. That's the truth. Anytime I can change my mind and say go, you have to go. That's why I said I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm a wicked person. Let people know, no. This is what is coming. Mm-hmm. I don't act, I don't fake. I will tell you the truth. No forgiveness. No. You cause it, fix it. So If you were able to defend your stepmother, mm-hmm. I know by this time the family might be find a way to forgive you. Hmm. But I still feel grudging you that your stepmother killed your father. It's happening to you. It's normal. What if even your kids would accuse you that you killed their father? You mean? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's hmm. happened. The same thing happened. The same hmm. thing. You understand? Hmm. I, I asked my sister, have you forgotten when my mother, my real, our real mother hmm. died? We were nine. Only one father. That's our father. Mm. At least remember, maybe our stepmother gave us water to drink. She left her life for all of us. Nine. Nine. Yo. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So why killing him this time? The man is 70 plus. The woman is also... She could go- have done long time ago. The woman is also oh. 70 going 70. Oh. You understand? So like that is me. That is me. I am straight. No I'll tell you. No forgiveness. <sighs> are there any pastors that you believe that they are genuine out there? Myself. I'm a pastor. I believe in myself. No, any other pastor no, no, that you no. believe out there? I, I told you in the beginning, mm-hmm. knowing and believing is... Okay. Okay, so I don't... For them, leave them. I am a real true man of God. There's something I'm curious to ask um because you 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 now in South Africa. I'm I'm not saying because you said you go and come back now and then. Have you learned a bit of South African languages? Hey, no, 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 no. Not even one, ah, two. Oh, to oh, to well, it's what I <laughs> Say it again. Oh, to oh, to well, whatever. No, no, to well. No, no, to well. It's the only thing you know. I'm funny. I'm f- <laughs> Wena, wena. Okay, you know Saubona, which is it's a uh, How are you? Something like this. Yeah. Then, okay. Uh, Yapira, whatever. Yeah. Oh no, you know. Okay, so you, you, I think that's Zulu, by the way. Mm. It's Zulu, so it means that you're learning a bit of it's Zulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I remember the last time I, I interviewed you, I I was talking about polygamy, mm-hmm. right? And I never asked you what's your opinion about polygamy. On polygamy. On yeah. Okay, if you have the money. You understand? Mm. Why not? If you have the money to marry more, you understand? And your first wife, like for instance myself, mm. my wife is my backbone. Mm. She has supported me all of my life. Mm. I'm not saying my family is not part, but she has done a good job. Mm. If I want to do anything contrary to her agreement, mm. you understand? She must sign. When she agrees, ah, why not? Are you open to polygamy? Polygamy, mm. ah, polygamy is a nice thing. Let's say when your 
wife is having a miscarriage is a, a what do you call it? menstruation yeah. yeah you go to the other one <laughs> then even your house to be nice yeah. you have slim you have slim you have big uh, you have one with the colored you have black you have you know <laughs> it to be nice it to be nice you know so when i get less than 70 years yeah. or 80 years yeah. i'll be sitting in front of my balcony and then watching my wife <laughs> call me the big one call me the slim one the the, the colored one. call me the, the white one, one. <laughs> the white, yeah. you know why i'm asking this because you, that day you said uh love is money and now you're saying again that when if you have, you have money, money yeah. why not right. it's money it's money everything is money everything wow. everything is cash you know so as a a, a a a graphic designer or a content creator are you open to people maybe who comes in your dms your inboxes asking for help not i'm not i don't want to talk about money but they ask for help maybe if you could teach them a thing or two are you open to such things i tried once and then a guy created a scene out of it you What understand you there was this guy uh-huh. who wanted me to promote a page here his page okay i did Mm. And unfortunately, my page was hacked. Because that time I had a lot of viewers and then they hacked my page. I go even got copyright. You know, and lost mm-hmm. a lot of things. This guy thought because uh, I took money from him to do this promotion. Mm. I didn't do the promotion. I mean, I just took the money and then I ate it. He f- he he thought you did that. I took the money and I ate it. You understand? Because I did the promotion for I think uh, a month or two. Okay. You've not even seen me online. Just call and find out what's happened, bro. If I was online, then it's a different thing. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not online. And you wouldn't sacrifice your job just for. I, mean, I don't want to say change, but for something that is temporal for your yes your full time job. Yes. So from then I said no, no, no I'm not going to do it again. People okay. even came on board. I was doing advert, yes, free advert, yeah, for everybody. Yes, they sent me their posts. Mm-hmm. I advertised for them. I once saw the other one. Uh, you were you were advertising in someone's house or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That one, I I basically chose Fridays mm. to do that advert free. I play music and I do advertising for them free. Mm. The same people use that same advert to give me copyright. You understand? <laughs> the same people I was doing the advert for, free. All the guys watching, all all, all the all my fans, yeah. and Kumana family, yeah. they know what I'm saying. The the same people I was playing their own advert free for them. They use that same advert to do to send me copyright. Wow. So I decided I wanted to do it again. Okay. Um. There's this confusion for me i i hope we're gonna break it down for me what is a pastor what is a preacher what is a prophet and what is a bishop bishop for for my knowledge i think he's supposed to have a lot of churches that uh, he controls you know okay bishop so, have a lot of churches like this okay yeah and okay. then uh, a pastor is like uh, an evangelist you know okay. you need to go out there bring souls bring souls yeah lost souls you know <laughs> okay. preach the gospel people repent and then they come to the church blah blah, blah. Mm-hmm. A and preacher. Uh, yeah it's the same, same as a thing. preacher same as a preacher eh? a prophet a prophet uh, is someone according to the bible sent by god himself d- to deliver a message mm-hmm. on a purpose and the prophet will also tell you why he's giving you that message Talking about that, you once interviewed Bishop Maponga. Yeah, Bishop Maponga. <laughs> Shout out Bishop Maponga. And he said there's a guy who DM'd him and said, God sent me to you. And he said, I didn't even want him to finish. Mm-hmm. I said, go and tell that uncircumcised person, God of yours. Lord of, uh, God of yours, to come to me not to disrespect me like that to send you you are gossiping about me that in the, my absentia that the person uh, the, the 
Lord knows my address. Yes. That he can just uh, I mean talk, talk to, to me because me I know my God. Mm-hmm. So now do we have to listen to 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 the prophets? Preachers, now, pastors, now, now, all of them as I I was questioning. Now, now as I speak the prophets in the Bible you understand we don't have it on earth now mm. okay as i speak to me i don't care about what other people thinks to me there's nothing like ezekiel currently on earth there's nothing like uh, uh rahel uh, what do you call them ezekiel oh, sure. uh, all the prophets in the bible mm. i mean we don't have such on earth you understand mm. for them according to the bible they were all sent by the god of israel mm. you understand so when they come they prophesy they say ah the, the god of jacob the god of isaac the god, those names are israelis you understand and they were worshiping their forefathers god the god of abraham you know mm. so as i speak if you say the god of a corner bar is as is a prophet and i'm giving you a prophecy the god of ekonaba mm. the bible explained the god of isaac according to the bible the bible explained the god of jacob the god of abraham according to the bible who is explaining the god of me mm. so you always say write your own testimony you understand so if i'm giving you prophecy yeah. and i say it's coming from god yeah. which god which of the gods what God am I talking about? Is this my God? If it's the God of a cornerba, you understand? How do you know the God of a cornerba? Can you read about the God of a cornerba? Do you know the God of a cornerba? That's why Mapunga said, "Tell that God of yours." He even said, "Uncircumcised." God of yours. <laughs> You understand? I went back and said, "Did I hear him right?" I kept yeah. on rewinding because I was in shock. You understand? That said, but yeah. So the God of yours, mm. it means to Mapunga. It's not my God. It's not my God. No, your God. It's, now you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So any pastor on earth giving prophecies is coming from his God, and that God you you don't know. For me, I don't even know. Mm. So I want the God of me, the God of a cornerback, mm. the God of myself, to come to, to me. come to me and because deliver me. Because I'm not a stranger to Him or to them. When you know your God, your God will talk to you. My God doesn't need to go through somebody before He talk to me. Mm. You understand? That's why if you prophesy about me as I speak that the cornerback uh, there's going to be an accident, mm. you know, straight to the police station. <laughs> Because you, you are going to kill me. Because you are threatening me. You, 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 what is you intimidating me? It's no intimidation. But you are. I see them yeah. as criminals. So if you prophesy that I'm going to die, I know you are a criminal. You're going to kill me. You're so straight to the people. police. Hey. I make a report. Yeah. You come, you write a statement. Yeah. Then you take affidavit of oath. You'll be the first suspect should, any, it, should anything happen, happen to me. Don't take it as a joke. Mm. They will kill you. Okay, and then lastly, can you please give me a food for thought for today? Food for thought. Yeah, you gave me a lot. <laughs> but in general, maybe. In general. Yeah. Okay. Just for today because of you said you don't know what would happen tomorrow. Okay. The food for thought for today, not to you alone, to everybody. Yes. Don't ever cry for things you cannot get. Always cry for things you can get. Let's say you are barren. You know very well you are barren. That miracle that happens in the Bible, that uh, the barren God, whatever, whatever. This time we do IVF. Hmm. You go to hospital and do IVF. If you don't have money to do IVF, adopt. We have children who are orphans. Hmm. Go and adopt one. So you don't pray about things you cannot get. You understand? Pray about the things you can get. But how will you know? Because if they keep on saying, there's this say that, do not give up. Keep on trying. Be consistent. Be wasting, persistent. You are wasting your be time. Be disciplined. You are wasting your time in the sense that. Believe. Have faith. You know very well where to get it. Go and take it and stop crying. You and are, if you don't have means. If you don't have means, go and take it. 
from the orphanage homes. You understand? Don't waste your time on things you know you will not get it. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> like say, I'm praying to become president of South Africa. You are wasting your time. Mm. Pray about things you know very well you can get. And then work towards it. Case close. Do you think we are impatient people? Sometimes. That's why I'm saying that seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness first and the rest will be added unto you. They don't want to seek the kingdom and its righteousness, but they want the rest to be added unto them. So we are impatient. Thank you so much, Akonaba. You're welcome. So today, this is our, our small, small uh, conversation. You can also bring your comment. In case I said something and then you feel like you want to cry, it's fine. You can cry. It relieves a lot of pain, you know. Mm. If I said anything that you think it hurts you, Think about it very deep. Mm. Whatever I said on this show today yes. is the truth. Nothing but the your truth. truth. Please don't forget that it's your truth. It's my truth. Yes. Okay. It's my truth. Yes. And then people are watching somehow uh, testimonies of whatever I'm saying. Yes. Okay. And then they know that ah, this guy is telling the truth. Yeah. So Come my through. truth can be somebody's truth in the comment section. Yes. But if it's not, it has not happened to you. I shouldn't dispute it. Yes. Relax. You can dispute it, you can criticize, you can insult, it's fine, no problem. Okay. You understand? Even Christians themselves, they are not Christians. Haibo. They are not Christians. Because nobody as a Christian, as I speak, can forgive. If you can forgive, why are you killing the Satan? Mm. If you can forgive, why are you killing your enemy? Nobody is a Christian. And if you're a Christian, why you come to me? Why you come in my comments and insult me? Because you should pray for me. Because it's written in the Bible that even if you say raka, raka means uh, let's say let's say raka means uh, stupid or mm. foolish or whatever. Mm. It's written in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you tell your they brother, they say we sin by thinking, by seeing, by. If you tell your brother or your sister raka, you will never enter into the kingdom of God. Mm. So if you insult your brother or your sister, it's mm. even in the Bible. You never go there. But how many Christians do you come across in your comments who insult you because of you are you disputing what they? Oh, mean? a lot, and I enjoy it because they cannot even go. <laughs> they will insult me and still watch. Mm. You understand? As they are insulting me, they are still enjoying the show. <laughs> you cannot leave. <laughs> you have to finish the show. Not that sad. You understand? Okay. So you to thank you that uh, every weekend you come for us to have a little thank chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, if appreciate you're also it. in South Africa or in Ghana and you want to interview me, we can do a virtual interview. Okay. You can call or send me a message. I want to interview you. No problem. I'll put you on sports. Yeah. Video. Yeah, yeah. Do your interview. Ask me your questions. You open, are you open to any questions? Because the reason that I asked for this interview it was like, I felt like the last time there are certain things that I didn't ask. Mm. I'm yeah. open for anything. Okay. You understand? Stupid question comes with stupid answer. <laughs> okay. You understand? So I'm open for anything. You understand? So if you want to interview me, yes. you're welcome. You can come ask me anything. I will answer you based on what you ask me. I really appreciate this moment because yeah. I know you're a busy person, but you always, your op- your doors are always open for me to come and learn, and okay. I've learned a lot. So t- tell them uh, your, your your page again. My page is Unscramble Life. Unscramble. Let me say it like this. Like this. It's Unscramble Life with Slee. Okay. Yeah. Eti abushia for I'm speaking in my language. Abushia for eh ne di sister isa ba ni me bon komo kakra. E wo me page ya. Uh, every weekend be water, but no bonkomo. Then your bonkomo, we made us so sell our dad if you program me. We did the papa was a higher corner television. Messremo, some more like it, Mobeshe, no more mere Adam Samay, son of a chromat transpe, or bad life for no more. Pia, I was your fool. My teacher, when you am teacher, when you ever my mamma, my maga, my maga's won't remember because, um, or co program. It won't mean your program. It was me can't tell myself a film up and to move on any big dream. Oh, bass one must on them. One must on them to anyone makes it by this was ask a picture. This was ask a picture. Eh, Sanso and Emma Mavlin, this devilin with your pa. My babs are same banya putre. My babs are same banya putre. Eh, I said, 
eh antibody me chia pa antibody me chia pa na we na nufu na we gonna say eh na mama mi ni interview na mo chuma bi na kosi baby mu nya mutere eh eh big dream me feel cra marvel me chia pa marvel me chia jordan alumenu lusa is me chia pa jordan me chia eh antibody masa ye kefu ate eh ele de mo de bi top Eh ma ba zo ate won ni nyina mo bibia life nsu do bibia de di eh oba pa jefu a me hu comment me chia pa me chia pa o si if you know what to doing it is wrong take responsibilities e lo fi joda won le ba e ana eh pita eh provinca o si prophet e kwa na ba o si champion ba me fi ska po si ogun ogun sori lo ogun sori lo eh messi edu o si more fire more fire anti body was a call about to the world ma ba so you are in the serious trouble ma ba so banya wote ya so banya wote marvin me chia pa me chia pa ishraba aduminka e o facebook me chia pa so only there i am a follower of yawe and ishraba dey otro the buyer eh so god bless you nyami ishraba was pa eh miss vis and so ebas me chia pa ko visa mo me chia pa ali abubakar me chia e man kremo fo nyina so barka di sala ay barka di kende isa ne kan anya sam ketwa eh soda pop me chao pa soda pop me chao me chao eh ose our brother didn't look eh and was rather focused on the interview ah mo bo mi se ma ma ade na adwuma ma yi mi nya se bi na adwuma ma ye ni e kwana ba wa kura dia tu kiss close so the adwuma ma bo ni nya si se bi bia de din Eh uh, big do I say I was about to say the same thing though. Big dream, big dream, big dream. Asama asam won nifi enko fa asam won be fi. No problem bia. My time be everything. Eh Eh wisi afo. Ola my friends here, my friends here. Na and my mama gas with me ba. It ya me boa, I me say a fit na kon obeba. And I see be a do when your time be a platform in India or bank on idea, a woman a ballroom. Be did your colaba, a higher colaba television. It does it. Hello, a busy and four. So, a person features right short of four day, and then I found what dom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening, I will two paces from Quan. So, what did you choose here? And more was seen a year fitter. Now, a year fitter, no, so no. No, a G and Carboni be a woman mobia. Any tea stains, coffee stains. Smoking stains e bi e wo wonu mu bia unique laser whitening product e be yin nyina free so ma kama kama de wo hia ne se wo betu so na wo de gu wo brush ne so wo wi a na wo de twetwe wo sene so nyina kama wo wi a e wo ru anum gen wo nu musa into contact unique laser whitening e wo 0799972330 0799972330 9979-2330 Unique Laser Whitening or say Muni Sess. Penny for say, be blow your sense in your da, near Tupunum, Nanny Papa Bonifonti, and what's so more bumble with him? Nanny Papa Mudi, Pro Technologies, and I make him for my work. Anne, Pro Technologies, we are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yet on a sign installed CCTV cameras in the sour gun, and now several trade now with your gun. Now, pursue a CCTV camera installation. We need Pro Technologies, and then sour so we get CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gates, access control, video door. Bell and our intercom and our satellite TV home theater so we pay biato and our to and our person be installing my pro technologies and our software here now sharing so so you feel the need for America but you may in this and Papa now pay dia man you know none of us should that form make sure you know the web but you may move any branch in Ghana you need more brow over in to seek a fire and some safe and yet you pay more Ghana or that. Na niye tene se, ye sanye general construction. So we brochure, na wapi sosi fi o gana. E da yi plan yi bia wapi sosi. Se wa sha si dada, anafe na wapi sosi. Plan yi bia, ye besi ya mao. Enwe ti so yi ya solar power. Anabamba hon sen zembi adye. Woni ye nisa wa so. Ni ye sansu ya smart home. A bae fun fi diye bia wapi se se se. E wo fi ye, anawa chuba mwa de mao. Woni ye nisa wa so. We address a call away. Ni ye sansu wa den ade ma hain. Anafe brochure bedu gana. Na wopi full house, room, anapartment ahain. 
for short term and a long term. You be more biyani border form now. Bamba home send it. Man, you know. And now you interior decoration. So what's the fear now? And now you see fear now, man. No, you sign decoration. You be see see you fear. And now officer Eddie Amal. And we just want to fill you. Now we go to your first installer. And now the settings. You be here Eddie Amal. I walk Ghana. Ube who you? We 